It has been way too long since I recorded a video for you. And so I'm back and I want to share and talk a little bit just totally um, unscripted with some crazy hair I'm noticing, but <laughs> totally unscripted about zipping up. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because I recently was interviewed on a great, um, by a great friend of mine and a wonderful woman named Jenny Burl. If you don't know her, you need to go check out BurlEducation.com. She's fabulous. But we were talking during the interview about zipping up or engaging your core muscles to help support yourself and your back and um, help uh, support your core, help prevent prolapse, all of this stuff. And I came up with this awesome way of thinking about zipping up, which helps maintain your alignment and helps um, really keep your abdominals in the, or your alignment in the ideal position, which can put your abdominal muscles in the ideal position to fire appropriately and effectively. Okay, so what you wanna do, in case you have not already read this on my blog, is, and I'll try to remember to put the link to my post um, in the notes below this YouTube video, but anyway, what you wanna do is think about mom jeans. All right, I'm not wearing mom jeans today. These are, these are low-waisted jeans, and I have to stand really far away for you to see me here, but what I want you to do so pretend like I'm wearing those high-waisted jeans with like the 12-inch zipper. So you want to think about first finding that ideal alignment where you are not like this and you're also not like this, okay? So you want your anterior superior, anterior superior iliac spines, <laughs> those are the points in the front of your pelvis, those little juts, those little points, you want them to essentially be in line with your pubic bone in the front. So you don't want this going on, but you don't want this going on. So you want them to be in line. Then you want to make sure that your rib cage, your lowest ribs, are dropped so that they're in line with your anterior superior iliac spines. So you don't want this going on, and you don't want this going on. Okay? So now that you find that found that proper alignment, that is the ideal positioning for your body to be zipping up in. Okay, so in that proper alignment, you want to engage your pelvic floor muscles gently, like you're squeezing and lifting very gently at the base of your pelvis, and then gently pull your abdominals in and up. All right, so when you do that, it should feel like you're zipping up a pair of mom jeans. Okay, now sometimes when you do this, even if you started out with that perfect alignment, you might like kind of go zip up to the point where you thrust your ribs forward a little bit, so that's where you want to button that top mom jeans button, way up high, and think about dropping the lower ribs. If they've popped forward, you want to drop them. Lower your ribs to the point where they're back in line with the ASIS, the hip points of your pelvis. All right, so just make sure that when you go from a nice resting position and then zip up, make sure you don't thrust your chest forward. You want to button the top of those mom jeans. Okay, so now that I've re-explained that whole zipping up thing, the whole thing about zipping up, uh, a friend of mine, a femcation friend, asked the excellent question of, should I zip up all day long? And I said to her um, by email, and I'll, in the I'll blog post, I'll go ahead and write a little bit of what I'm going to be talking about here. But what I said to her was, no, you do not want to zip up all day long. If you did that, that would actually... Um, potentially cause a lot of problems, a lot of overactivation of these muscles if you're consciously extra turning on these muscles to be in that nice, strong, zipped up position. The zip up is really meant for times when you are um, preparing to lift something or push something or pull something or do some heavy, uh, you know, really like a, I have a vacuum that's really hard to push. So like you want to zip up before that. You want to exhale on exertion, so breathe out during the hard part and you want to be zipped up and strong so you can protect your back and really protect your core and prevent a, um, excessive sort of pressure and pushing on your pelvic organs and abdominal organs, which can ultimately lead to prolapse, which we don't want. Prolapse is when your pelvic organs fall out. You want to be strong and engaged through the pelvic floor on up through the abs during those um, activities that require a little extra oomph. 
So the way you can know when you might need to zip up, for example, you also, in most cases, you wouldn't want to zip up during an entire fitness class. There's going to be one, there will be times when you're going to want to kind of let go and relax and let it all shake out a little bit. You might be a little bit contracted and slightly um, extra engaged during certain classes throughout most of the session, but you don't want to be clenching, not at all. You're going to hurt yourself if you do that. So if you are doing a move that requires a lot, of, again, that little extra, like for example, during squats, if you're squatting and you're standing up, you want to give a little exhale, breathe out, and a little extra engaging of those core muscles during squats, especially on the coming up part, okay? During a plank, you want to definitely be zipped up and engaged during a plank, um, you know, where you're on your hands and your feet. You want to be um, strong and zipped and, and pulled in through the core when you're doing focused core work, like ab work. Uh, you want to be zipped up and strong when you're doing balance work, when you're standing and, and, and uh, really needing to have proper balance. So all of those times are when you want to turn things on a little extra. If it's a super long workout, um, you're going to need to take breaks if it's some kind of workout that you're thinking, oh, I think I need to be zipped up the whole time. Take breaks. It's too much to keep any muscle on, strong on, for an hour is just too much. You need to let it go and then turn it on again. Now, these postural muscles that we're talking about are always on at a low level. And so really what you ultimately want to be focusing on, even aside from the whole zipping up and in tandem with the zipping up, is that proper alignment that we talked about at the beginning. So you want to be sure that when you're zipped up, you're in that proper alignment without thrusting your ribs forward, without doing something funny with your pelvis. You want that proper alignment with your neutral ribs over your neutral pelvis. So if you keep that proper alignment, your muscles will naturally be in the best possible position to do the best work because they're going to be at that perfect, ideal um, length to do their strongest work. They're in the best possible position to keep you supported, to keep your core strong, to keep things on and firing well, and being ready to turn on at a moment's notice when they need to turn on for a little bit of extra firing. So I hope that makes sense. Um, again, you should not be zipped up all day long. What you should be all day long is in good alignment. And then you can zip up to turn things a little extra on when you need them during the hard phase, the exertion phase of certain exercises, during focused core work, during balance work, during pushing, pulling, moving, lifting, that kind of stuff. Okay, so the last little bit that I want to address is the whole idea of, well, if I'm not zipped up all day long, if I'm not pulled in all day long, my tummy's gonna look all poochy and fat. Okay, <laughs> so again, that is going to be helped by focusing on that proper alignment. So when you are standing out of proper alignment, when you're, you know, like this, for example, of course, when you're relaxed and not zipped up, your tummy's gonna look terrible. <laughs> it's gonna look poochy. If you're standing like this and not focusing on that proper alignment and not zipping up, your tummy's also gonna be poochy in a different way. So when you're standing in that proper alignment, even when you're not zipped up, you are going to, first of all, have your muscles at that ideal resting length, that ideal tension, which allows them to turn on and fire extra if they need to. But you're also gonna look slimmer and trimmer just naturally, even when you're not zipping up. And you're going to be in a better position to gain strength um, in the muscles as you do your exercises and just live your daily life so that you're naturally gonna be um, slimming things in, trimming things up, um, healing conditions such as diastasis recti, all of that wonderful stuff that we want to do. So um, don't worry about the poochy tummy. As long as you're in proper alignment, you're good to go. So a long explanation, but I hope that it was helpful for you and served you in um, just living your healthiest, fittest, most glorious, tall and lifted life possible. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email. My contact information is on my website at femfusionfitness.com. You can also always connect with me by Facebook. Um, I'm not on Twitter anymore, so Facebook, my website. Take a look at my book, Lady Bits. It's a 
great resource for women and there is just a ton of information and posture and alignment is just a small piece of it but I do talk about it in there too so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time I have a ton of great videos lined up in my brain for you all right we'll see you later bye